Welcome back to yet another guide. Yes, I know it has been some time. Sorry, I had a lot on my plate. But now I'm back to kill all of humankind once more. So, uh, back to topic. The Neurox worm is a parasite that burrows into the host's brain and exercises mind control from there. Um, there's a very special way you can win with this type of disease. You don't have to kill everybody for once, which is a nice addition. You can just create a cult that enslaves the human race. So, you could say, the Nurex worm is a good guy play. Aww. Also, most symptoms, ways of transmission and abilities are a bit different than with the other plague we had until now. But that's the same with every special plague. But I will show all trees and abilities very clearly and easy to follow. And if something is unclear, let me know in the comments. And I'm happy to help and I'm also very glad that a lot of people um, take part in the comment section and helping each other. Thank you, thank you a lot for that. So the strategy here is pretty simple and it is to spread, spread and spread again. We want everybody infected as fast as possible and enslave all of human. Kind. Whatever. English. Therefore we use every transmission, symptom and ability we have to spread the little worm. For all worlds to hail little John. And yes, I named the worm John. Because he's cute like that. So John gives us some tools which allow us to lower the severity so that we don't get spotted right away. And even if we get detected, the cure effort will be very low. So that John has enough time to build his following. When the world finally re realizes that they're about to get enslaved and put more effort into a cure, we will boost the infectivity and take over the mind of the ones who are already infected. So they don't even want a cure and start working against the healthy rest of the population. So now to genes. And yes, I know, before you smash my head to the title of the video and blame me in the comment section below, this guide is gonna be done without genes. I'm just showing you some genes to maximize your score since genes are the easiest way to do so. But again, the run I'm about to show you works without any genes, okay? Okay. So ATP booster, pick whatever. Every single one of them will help. ATP booster gives you a head start, while the other two, cytochrome and metabolic jump, help you on the long run. Genetic mimic, uh, pick that one. It simply makes the disease harder to cure, which is a nice thing to have to get a bit of better score. Terrocyte, the Nurex worm has the train plane ability, and since we will go air free anyways, you don't need air or water. Therefore, pick Terrocyte to allow John to spread more easily in areas like Central Europe. There again. All are helpful, but if in doubt, pick Europhile or Extromophile. If you don't have those, again, all of those will help, so just pick whatever you have. Here, either Symptostasis or nothing, because, well, this is a double-edged sword. One, on one hand, you get the benefit of symptoms not increasing their cost, and we're gonna use a lot of symptoms. But on the other hand, it's easier to cure, so again, if in doubt, just leave that empty. So again, and to clarify, I'm just using the, um, what is it, Metabolic Hijack gene? And that just makes it so that the bubbles get popped, you know, without me clicking on the screen. And that's just, it's, it's easier to record that way. So now how to actually beat the scenario. Um, first, and that's very important, I can't stress this enough. You have to name the plague John. Believe me. Okay. Then I'm just showing you that I don't use any genes that will benefit me, and the title and what I just said. And for starters, you can either go India or say Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi Arabia performed better in this one for me, but both work fine since both are well connected to the rest of the world, rather warm, warm, and allow for fast spread. And then first, we want to make sure that John actually can spread within the country and gets to travel as fast as possible. Therefore, we develop the transmission tree to air 2 and water 1 for now. So, just collect DNA for now and whenever you can, buy the elements of this tree. After you have evolved this tree, we should see John starting to visit new countries very rapidly. So now that the little worm starts visiting foreign countries, it's time that we work on disguising John. And we do that by lowering the severity. It takes longer until he gets detected, and even if he does, the cure effort will stay low. In fact, it says none, but whatever. <laughs> and we do that by building the tree shown right now. After that, we have a very good foundation 
and therefore we start sp spreading it more specifically and we do that by buying our first ability and that's Troyan Airplane 1. It allows us to send John to countries of our choosing and we all know where the first John is going to fly, right? Or do we? Here's a quiz for you. Where will we send John? Pause the video and type your answer in the comments. No cheating. Eh? So of course we're gonna send John to Greenland as soon as the first airplane appears. From there on, whenever a Trojan airplane appears, just check which countries are currently not praising John and send the airplane right there. John should now go wild, infecting a lot of new nations. In my case, they started working a cure here, but since our severity is low, they don't know what's coming and the cure effort is none, so don't worry about it for now. And now it's time that we work on spreading John in the rich and cold countries more effectively. So get air free, cold 1 and 2, drug resistance 1 and 2, and slow down the cure using genetic hardening 1 and 2. It's basically the same as you do in every plague. Just wait for all the countries to have at least 25% infected people. It's very important. Don't start before that. It won't work. So, and as soon as you have those 25% infected people, it's time that John takes over and stops those sciences from working against his message of peace. So work the symptoms tree up until you get transcendence, which basically makes all infected hosts practically worship John as an eternal god. From now on our only goal is to slow down the cure, so get genetic reshuffling as you do it in every plague. And you can also work up the right tree on the uh, symptoms, that slows down the cure as well. And get angry mob to boost the infection even more, that will cause the infected people to attack the healthy people. And it makes the infection way faster, or the spread. And then you just sit back and enjoy watching John taking over the world. And there you go. You just enslaved 7 billion people and that almost or pretty peacefully. I know it has been a long time but I still hope you enjoyed the video. I'm working on more of them. There are many other special plagues I want to um, do on Brutal. And if I have gone through all of those, uh, I'm thinking about doing a Mega Brutal run, but we will see about that. If you have suggestions, leave them in the comments below, I'm always happy for feedback, and see you in the next one guys, bye bye.